Hello everyone, have you ever opened a sequence and then you're wondering why is this sequence placed so far away from your ISO center? This really bothered me. Why? Because I have to put on a few more clicks just to reposition the slices. It takes time, it's not efficient. Nevertheless, I will show you how you can make this more efficient. Coming up. Welcome back to my channel, guys. For those who are new, my name is Bakhne again. I'm an Amurai videographer. In my channel, I'm covering things from basic to advanced Amurai topics, tutorials just like this one. If you haven't subscribed yet, considering doing so. So the reason for making this video is because in the beginning when I was doing optimization, saving the protocols, I didn't understand why sometimes I open a sequence, it's suddenly so far away from the ISO center and I have to reposition it and it took time. And then suddenly I didn't understand what was wrong. My protocol now is a little bit more efficient. It's easy for everyone to use, just open, and click, and then position, and it's done, right? Enough talking for me. I'm gonna show you how this can be done in the protocol. So let's go to the scan and I'll show you. All right, currently we are at 3T, doesn't matter. This will be working. Every scanner, 1.5, 3T, old software, new software, it will work. So I will show you how this can be done. So sometimes whenever you open a new protocol, let's say for example, this abdominal imaging right here, and you have a coronal haste sequence, and you open it, and you know that your isocenter is around here in the middle here, so your isocenter is right there in the middle of the liver. That's okay. But whenever you open your sequence, sometimes it really pops either higher or lower, and I will try to explain to you why this happens. The real deal is that I want to position somehow something like that, right? But look at this now. The ISO center, the table position now is feet 55 millimeter. That means that it's 55 millimeter from the ISO center you just did, the laser light, right? You pushed on the laser light, and now you move the box away from that laser light or the ISO center, if you want to call it so, 55 millimeter, okay? So this is the real deal. This is how I would have done it. I would have pushed apply and then do a breath fall, right? But the thing is that whenever you're happy with the sequence and you want to save it, right? So let's try to save it. that so what did you save you save the sequence with the position feet 55 okay so it means that next time you have an isocenter a little bit higher or lower either way whenever you open the sequence it will move towards the feet 55 millimeter every time you open the sequence it move towards the feet 50 millimeter because you saved so so what you can do, you need to reset this. So you need to go to zero and save it. This means that whenever you are pushing the laser light, the ISO center, it will position right there. So it will be faster for you. You don't need to you know, take a look at where it is, move it up and down. You know at the ISO center, it will open at the ISO center. So it's much faster, it's much more efficient. You see, you don't need to move it up or down. But let's see now. It's now towards a uh, head, 173 millimeter. If you save this sequence now, the next time you open this on the next patient, it will move up towards your head, 173 millimeter. So what I recommend you to do is, whenever you save your sequence, as good as possible, go into the miscellaneous, ISO, table position, I put zero and save it. So the next time it will work perfectly each time.
Well, that's it guys. I hope you find this video valuable. Did you know about this function? If so, let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, do not forget to push the like button and hit the subscribe, hit on the notification bell so you get a ding ding whenever new things from me are coming up. I will catch up with you in my next video. Peace out.